because econometrics is the subject for which we have received a lot of requests from the students for solving the questions in the videos. So let's see which question is this. All right. So the question says, consider a two variable linear regression model yi equals to alpha plus beta xi plus mu i where variance of mu i is equal to expected value of mu i square and is equal to sigma i square. So the presence of i in the sigma tells me that there is heteroscedasticity. Hence, my variance of the error term is not constant. It is going to be random. It is going to be changing. So we have to show that the beta hat, that is the slope estimator which we are going to find out is going to be unbiased but it is going to be inefficient because I want efficient estimator but in the presence of heteroscedasticity it is going to be inefficient estimator of beta but it will still be unbiased estimator. So what is the approach whenever something or any question I mean it ask you to check for biasness ki it is unbiased or is it biased always check for the expected value so here I have to prove beta hat as unbiased so I need to prove expected value of beta hat equals to beta this is what I have to prove over here now when it says inefficient so it means Efficiency, in efficiency what usually happens is we show that the variance of my estimator is the least. It is the minimum value I can get for my variance of estimator. Now if it is inefficient, I have to show that variance of beta hat is not minimum. It is not least, it is not minimum. This is what I have to show. Correct? So let us see how we are going to solve this question. Okay. So this is the model given to us. Regression model yi equals to alpha plus beta xi plus mu i. This information is also given to me. That is variance of mu i is equal to expected value of mu i square is equal to sigma i square which shows me heteroscedasticity. Now, how do we show that? First of all, we know whenever we have one, like whenever we have one explanatory variable in my regression model, the value of beta hat is given by this formula. One thing, whenever such type of econometric questions come in your exam, since we have a number of formulas for getting the value of slope estimator, that is beta hat. So it depends that which value you have to pick to prove a particular thing. So there lies the trick. If you pick the correct value of your estimator, that is how you will be easily transforming to the solution of your question. So here I have picked this formula of beta hat, which is in the deviation form. So summation xi yi upon summation xi square. This is the derivation. Now I can convert this thing into a linear form of yi. How? If I take summation xi upon summation xi square as ki as a weight because xi and xi square are my explanatory variables. So these values are given to me. I can treat it as my weight. So I have taken it ki. So as you can see here ki is equal to this thing. So I can write this thing as summation ki yi. Now, since yi here is in deviation form. So, when I say deviation form, yi means yi minus y bar. Because of this reason in yi, because when I write yi, it's alpha plus beta xi plus mu i. And when I subtract y bar, what is y bar? It's alpha minus beta x bar minus of mu bar. Now, what it is going to be? Alpha and alpha cancel. From here, I'm going to get beta out. And xi minus x bar will be small xi. Similarly, mu i minus mu bar will be mu i. Well, mu bar is anyway going to be zero as expectation of error term is zero by the assumption. So it means in deviation form, we have no scope 
of the intercept term. The intercept term goes away in the case of deviation form. So that is why I am putting the value of yi here. So I am putting beta xi plus mu i. So when I will try to open this up, I would be getting beta since it is a scale, constant. So it will come out of summation beta summation ki xi plus summation ki mu i. So this is the value of beta hat. So taking it ahead now, what I will get? I have this got this value from the previous page. Now because I want to check unbiasedness, what will I have to check? I have to prove that expected value of beta hat is equal to beta. So let me take expectation of this whole equation. So expected value of beta hat, beta will come out because it's a constant and according to the rule of expectations, the constant comes out. Expectation of summation ki xi plus expectation of summation ki mu i. Now I know this thing that the expected value of mu i is 0. So if it is 0, multiplying it here will make this whole term 0. So I get a 0 here. Now I'm just left with this thing. So for solving this, what I have done is I have put the value of ki here. So ki is equal to summation xi upon summation xi square into xi. So what does it be becomes? Summation xi into xi will become summation xi square. So in the numerator as well, I have summation xi square in the denominator as well. So if it cancels down, I get 1 only. So it means the expectation of 1 is 1. It's a number. So expected value will also be 1. So what do I get? It was 0. Beta into 1 will become beta over here. So what I have shown here is that expected value of beta hat is equal to beta. Hence, my beta hat is unbiased even in the presence of heteroscedasticity. Now we have to check for the inefficiency, whether beta hat is going to be an inefficient estimator or not. Anyway, they have asked us to prove, to show. So it has to be inefficient. Correct. For inefficiency, for checking inefficiency, I have to check for variance. As I told you in the beginning of this video, that what you have to prove, unbiased, inefficient, it depends on which value you want to proceed with. Only if you will pick the right value, you can get your solution. Otherwise, the calculations are going to mess up your answer. So always be very careful when you are picking the formula for proving unbiasedness or inefficiency or efficiency that you should always decide which formula you want to start with and how to choose that correct formula. You should choose that with the perspective that what you have to prove there. So whatever you have to prove there, you pick the formula with a view of that. So since I know I, I need to prove inefficiency, I need to work with variance, I need to choose that formula where I have the values of variance for other variables also. So I have picked up the same value, summation xi yi upon summation xi square. Then I have substituted the deviation value of yi, which is beta xi plus mu i. Now what I'm doing is I'm opening up this equation. After opening up this equation, what I'm going to get? Beta summation xi square upon summation xi square plus summation xi mu i upon xi square. Now they will cancel out each other. So I will be left with beta plus summation xi mu i upon summation xi square. Now since I have to check for inefficiency, I will be taking the variance of this last equation I have got. So variance of beta hat, I'm using the rules of variance, variance of beta plus variance of this thing. Now where beta is a number, it's a slope estimator. So its variance would be zero because it cannot deviate, it cannot fluctuate. So the variance of beta is zero. But when I come to the variance of this thing, since summation xi square is non-stochastic, it's given to me, it also comes out of the variance formula. So when I take the constant out, I do their square. So summation xi square, whole square, and for this also summation xi square, and I take variance to mu i only, right? Now, after this thing, what will I get? Okay, so 
ideally this should cancel here the whole thing so i will be left with variance mu i upon summation x i square so the same thing i'm left with as they will cancel out here so the variance of beta hat is why i have put sigma i square here because variance of mu i is given to me in the question which is equal to sigma i square so i have put that value here so i have got this value of variance beta hat now if you which is in the presence of heteroscedasticity but if there is homoscedasticity variance of beta hat is sigma square upon summation xi square right okay now you will wonder why how i can show that this is inefficient the reason is because of the presence of sigma i square here since whenever the xi will change the sigma i will change so i cannot assure whether this value is going to be minimum or not it depends on the values of xi or the other variables with which my error term variance is related here sigma square is a constant so it's not going to change it's it's going to be fixed sigma square because of the presence of sigma i square this is going to be inefficient only if they will be equal i would get the efficiency but they cannot be equal as be, because we have heteroscedasticity in our model see how easily we have proved that beta hat is unbiased but it is inefficient estimator of beta so if you find this video useful please like it share it with your friends subscribe to the channel also download the app to get access to more such solutions of pyq thank you everyone for watching the video